開閉会式の制作演出チーム。Seiko Hashimoto says we made the decision to dismiss Mr. Kobayashi from the creative team. We are just a day before the opening ceremony, and I think of all of the people involved in this game and also the Japanese public. I'd like to extend my sincere apology. There are now three people who had critical roles in the opening ceremony no longer involved because of questionable behavior. There was also the resignation of Yoshiro Mori. He was the Tokyo 2020 president but stepped down in February after making sexist remarks. The latest controversy comes as the Olympic torch, a symbol of peace, friendship, tolerance, and hope, enters its final leg before being carried into the opening ceremony Friday. There are some Canadians in competition today. We'll see action in archery and rowing. Ontario's Jill Moffitt says she is excited for these games, but she will have to wait a little bit longer. Her first heat goes Friday. This is like just such an exciting event, and sharing that kind of gave me the perspective of okay, don't get focused on the little things. Like, just enjoy what you're doing because. You've worked so hard to be here and be healthy. We have heard from a number of Canadian athletes who say they are paying attention to all of the protocols and being extra careful in hopes of staying healthy. But more athletes have tested positive for COVID 19. The Czech Olympic Committee says a women's beach volleyball player tested positive. Numbers shared Thursday indicate there are now 87 Olympic related personnel, including athletes. Who have tested positive for the pandemic virus. Cases in the general population have also risen. 2,000 new infections were recorded in Tokyo. Games officials say they will continue to focus on quickly identifying any new cases. At this point, the plan is still to allow 950 special guests, journalists, and athletes to attend the opening ceremonies in person. Crystal Gamanson, Global News, London.